Good morning, Talwanda. Today is Monday, March 1st, 2021. The THS Media Center has doubled the number of overdue books due to the remote learning and school closings. We did not have a chance to collect most of the books that were due from the 2019 to 2020 school year, and most of the books that were, that were checked out during the brief face-to-face -face weeks in late October and early November 2020. If possible, especially those who are currently attending in person, please return or renew any book you currently have checked out that is overdue. Seniors, if you ordered graduation announcements, they can be picked up in the main office. Seniors, you also need to make sure your senior portrait is submitted to your book by March 5th. If you do not submit your senior portrait, your book, if you do not submit your senior portrait, your book will use your life touch photo. Here's a roundtable discussion with Madam Sarnow about adapting curriculum to our new way of learning, followed by sports with Luke Westpoli. How has COVID impacted what you can do as a teacher? Uh, teaching languages, it has impacted me in the sense that I cannot do as much speaking and listening as I would like to. Um, and a lot of language is communicating and unfortunately it's turned into a lot of digital communication. Compared to last year when we would do a lot of like uh, class responding and like repeating words after you, we're doing less of that because it's just like not as safe to be all talking at once and stuff like that. I remember we did um, like speaking assignments where we would sit in groups and we would speak only in French and we no longer can do stuff like that. Um, how have you adapted to COVID and what changes have you made? Um, well, we've all had to adapt multiple times. I know that it's been difficult, not just for teachers, but for students. I mean, that's very stressful for you all. Um, but I would say that I take a lot of input from my students because if it's not working for you, then why am I going to continue to do certain activities? Yeah, I've noticed that we've been trying out like a lot of different websites, like there's like GimKit and BlueKit and Deck Toys. And I think it's good that you like introduce these different web to change the desks around and work in groups a lot. And like every two days, it would be a different desk formation. And that's obviously something we can't do anymore. And finally, are there any interesting projects you've done that you wouldn't have thought of doing if it weren't for the circumstances? Well, every time I have a project planned, something happens to cancel that project. So one of the ones that we were going to do last week was uh, making Mardi Gras masks, but using our medical masks instead of masks that would be above our heads or our faces. Eventually, we can go back to the more traditional projects like going to Jungle Gym. The thing that our class is doing right now is the stories, where we're reading French stories and translating them on it. But that's been a really cool way, and we're still able to work in groups um, with the people that are still online, which is really cool. The hockey team closed out their season this weekend. On Saturday, the Braves defeated Olentangy Orange 6-4. Goon squad combined for three goals, and the Schrider boys had one each. Nico Amarantos also tacked one on for the Brave. On Sunday, the team had their district championship hopes ended by Columbus St. Charles Prep. 2-0 was the final in that one. The Brave finished with a record of 27-8-2 and will look to reload for next season. This past weekend, the swim and dive teams competed at the state championships. Marin Patterson finished in a tie for 21st in her 100 freestyle and 23rd in her 100 backstroke. Sam Hull finished 14th in the one-meter diving event, and the boys' relay team of Alex Carlson, Blake Madden, Ben Crowder, and Max Gregg finished in 22nd place in the 200 medley. That same foursome also placed 23rd in the 200 freestyle relay. The boys finished the meet in 45th place out of 127 schools in Division I. This officially concludes the swim and dive season. Congrats to all the members of the teams for another outstanding year. And Grayson Steigerwald finished her season four pins away from qualifying for state with a 6-17 series at the district bowling tournament this year. She was also the highest SWAC finisher at the meet, so congrats to her and the rest of the bowling team on a great season. And this past weekend, the wrestling team competed at the sectional meet to close out their year. Sammy Dillon was sixth, and Nick Engelhard was fifth for the Brave. Congrats to them on a great season. Two big shout-outs today. First to Kiefer Bell, who finished ninth at the Adidas Nationals Mile yesterday with a time of 4.16. Also, congrats to junior DeAndre bothitz Reveille, who received his first Division I offer from Dartmouth College. And that's our broadcast today. I'm Luke Westpoli here at Channel 85. We have a boss mentality. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.